Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, what I wanted to do is talk about adding a new section to our master detail page. So right now we're listing notes about particular people, but what if I wanted to add another section for tasks? So let's say I reach out to them and then I put a task in here saying, I need to follow up with them in three weeks. So maybe the notes section would be general information and then the task section would be more of something I have to do with a deadline. So how are we going to do this? Well, we're actually going to make a table very similar to the notes, but with just a couple of different columns. One's going to be a due date. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to SQL Workshop, Utilities, Quick SQL. So we're going to create a table tasks. This is going to have a contact ID. Notice here that this is not referencing the anything really right now. So what we need to do is we need to say forward slash FK and then the table we want to reference, which is contacts. Then we're also gonna have a date due and a message. So it's very similar to the notes table, just with one different column. I think there is a possibility where you could make one table serve the purpose so the notes could have an optional due date. But for simplicity, I found it easier to separate these out into two tables, whatever you think is best for you guys. Just make sure the SQL looks good. We have a date type, we have a foreign key, and we have a primary key. So it looks good, let's save this. We'll save it as tasks, review and run. Run that, run now, and there we go. Now we don't wanna create an app from the script. We're just going to pull that into the app we already have. So what we need to do is go back to our app and we're actually going to edit this page. And we're actually gonna use some copy paste skills here. <laughs> so over on the left, make sure you have this tab selected and we'll just scroll down. And notice we have this contacts here, that shows up there. And then we have the notes here, that shows up there. And then we have the no record selected, which appears here on the layout, but that's really just what happens when you don't have anybody selected. So if you click reset, that's how you can configure this page here. But if what we want to do is actually add a new section in here, we can put it after the notes. So the easiest way to do that is to select notes over here on the left, right click and say duplicate. And we're just going to have to change some stuff in here. So the very first thing is the title. We'll want that to say tasks and the table name we get this from. We're going to want that to be something else as well. We'll make that tasks. One other thing real quick for you guys is that for this where clause, you're actually going to want to take from the notes this value. So what this is going to do is it's going to use the value of the contact ID that was passed into this page. That way we only get the tasks for that specific user. Now it's not complete, but what I wanna do is I wanna show you where we're at. So save, take a look at the page. We did a refresh. Scrolling down, you can see this new tasks section. And we can go in here, we can add a new task, but it's not gonna be quite what we want. Cause you see this pops up and it says notes and it asks for the date created, but we want a due date. So this is just not exactly what we want. And the reason this is, well, first you can actually quick edit and you can select this section if you want to basically get that information what's coming up. And we're actually, you can see on a different page here. So when we click that plus button, a new page is popping up and it's dedicated to notes. So what we're gonna be doing in the next video is we're going to have a dedicated video on creating a new page to allow us to create new tasks. So it's gonna be very similar to this page and it shouldn't be too bad. So we're pretty close. We got it to where this is showing up. But we just need to take a couple extra steps to make it you know, actually work for the tasks. So stay tuned in the next video because I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do that.